hello everyone so today uh, in this runtime world generation system i am going to show you how to use the plugin that i have generated that includes all the themes that we have worked on this system in another project so as you already know this plugin can uh, generate terrains in the runtime and they will be infinitely generated as the player moves forward and this foliage all these grass instances and everything is generated in the runtime so and all those features are now compiled into a single plugin and you can use that plugin in your projects too so here is the plugin i have added a nice icon too now let me show you how to use this plugin in your own project okay so for that let's first create a new project i'll call it word generation login host oh it's too much too long word plugin host okay blueprint now you don't have to have c++ enabled here because we have compiled everything and we don't need anything else too let's hit create okay now here is the project as you can see you don't have anything if i go to the explorer this is the project so i have the compiled plugin here now there are two ways to add the plugin into your project either you can add it to the project itself or you can add it to the engine or install it to the engine so this is how you add it to the project in the project folder create a new folder called plugins and then simply copy this plugin folder which include all the compiled binaries other way to install the plugin into the engine is here you go to the engine installation folder engine and here you have a plugins folder you can copy the plugin into this folder when you do that the plugin will be available for all the projects you don't have to copy it to the each individual project folders so you can use either way you like and then now let me close this project and reopen now it will open with the plugin plugin okay now here you see plugins folder if you don't see this you can check if you have enabled show plugin content when you enable that you can see this uh, world engine content folder here i have enabled uh, not enabled i have included a sample map as well if you open this you have this system by the way these red boxes you can disable them it's just only for demonstration purposes to show that where the grass tiles are generated now here you see i don't have that jetpack character because that was in my project but this word is coming from the plugin so therefore i have the word here everything so this is still this uh, inside the plugin now if you want to add this to your own project all you have to do is using this world engine blueprint which is included in here and the grass tile uh, tiled grass spawner blueprint you can just copy them or drag and drop them into your map or let me just select them here and control c to copy and create a new basic level i don't need this so this paste now we have the water and our grass spawner and everything and i have already included these default trees and default grass types so here if you play other world is generated okay 
So yeah, as I go closer, the grass is added to the level. Okay, now if you want to have one of your own objects spawned with this system, all you have to do is um, let me add some starter content so we can have some assets. Okay, now I have added this starter content. Let's see what measures we have. Here within a starter content, you have this bush. Let me go to the location of that bush. Okay, here. Now, if you want to spawn this bush as one of these bushes here, all you have to do is you can create a foliage, static mesh foliage type. I'll name it as a bush. Open it. And as the static mesh, assign this and height range, I'll give something like 300. And this range, maybe something like this. And here you don't see the growth parameters. That's because in this project, I haven't enabled foliage procedural foliage but if I go to here experimental and procedural foliage and now if I open this I can see this uh, procedural additional settings okay now let's leave it like this and here let me add that push and play the game see now you see the bush is there it spawned dynamically using the system so you can use those all the parameters available to customize as i can see it's aligning with the normal if you want to disable that line to normal disable now it Will not align with the land anymore okay see so now that's how you use this system all right so that's all i wanted to cover for today so thanks for watching let me know if you have other questions and suggestions and whatever you want to add this to this system in future i will add some animal spawning system as well so that you can have animals spawn wherever you go in the world and yeah see you in another episode goodbye and yeah or you can download the project files and the updated plugin from the patron page link is in the description below goodbye